Hello everybody and welcome to Innocentious Plays Battle Brothers with the Brothers United. We're currently in Wissenstadt, just hanging out a little bit. We still have some level ups to do after last time, so let's do that first before I forget. We have Otmar, our newly bowyer. Uh, I think I'm gonna give him Colossus, get some extra health. Because there's not much that I... maybe Pathfinder would be nice as well, but... Colossus just keeps them alive a little bit more. Definitely want him to get range skills, some fatigue and initiative. And they have Taurus Mund the Builder. Got a plus five roll in its archery, but the distance between these two is too far. So let's get melee skill, some fatigue, and some melee defense. And for the perk, let's go for the Colossus as well. Alright. So we need. 15 tools means we have six left over. That's not a lot. There's no quest here. Um, yeah, I think let's go to his box, see if they have a quest for us over there. And we're working towards the 2,000 crowns. I, I've been thinking maybe we can get some new guys, but I really want to get towards the 2,000 crowns. Finish that ambition. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit before we get an extra guy. They have two quests here. Eeny, meeny, miny, wow. It doesn't say anything, so let's go for the first one. You find Dietrich the Younger reading a scroll. He throws the paper at you and asks you to read up the names. The handwriting is difficult, but not more so than the names themselves. You stop and apologize, stating you are not from these parts. The man nods and takes the scroll back. Tis all right, Solswood. If you'd be wondering, those were the names of men, women and children who have passed in the last week. Last week? There were a lot of names on that list. The man seeming to read you nods somberly. Aye, we are in bad way. So many lives lost. We believe this be the work of our creatures beasts beyond our ability to reason. Obviously, we'd like you to go and find them. Would you be interested in such a task, mercenary? Let's pay coins, eh? He jingles with a bag of coins. This will be yours if you help me out on this. You are to receive 60 crowns in advance and another 220 when the job is done. A little bit more? 240. I accept it. Hunt down whatever is terrorizing them. Oh, I see some beast tracks. They're going in this yonder way. There are nine Naxairs. It's in dawn. Let's lure them out a little bit longer. See if we can maybe drag some more light into it. And let's go. Right? You're a little bit hurt, but you should be able to... Oh, we have some leather tunics. Let's equip some leather tunics instead of some linen ones. Sure, let's go. Next ears. There are many of them. Nine to be precise. But I have a feeling we can take them. We can hit this guy for 33%. I'll take it. We have much of the high ground here. So I think positional wise we're okay. Naxxers aren't weak, but they aren't really strong either. Especially since I don't see anyone that has feasted on some flesh or something like that. Uh, that's a good hit. I'll, I want some more of those. That's one down. Excellent. Um, I don't want to engage them. You have enough that I would say going with a spear wall will be good enough. And with enough I mean you have enough um, fatigue. I do want to place one here to keep the high ground. Go with a shield wall. Shield wall. Move one up a bit. Shield wall. Take the high ground. Go for a shield wall. Shield wall. And lastly, you 
go with a spear wall. I know we can do spear and shield walls, but this is fine. 9%, and 9, 31, 31. Hey, it's a hit. Yeah, coming. Good hit. Unfortunately, we didn't hit the second time, but hey, at least he got some out of it, right? Uh, there's a chance we can kill him. Didn't, but it was a good shot. Fine, we're killing this way. All right, this guy wants to move here, so. We want to move one guy up here, I guess. Chop him down. See if you can move there. Probably on one of the lower guys there's a higher chance to hit. So let's see if we can stun him. Nope. Good try though, good try. Ooh, we feasted. That's never good. So we need to deal with him. We can, we have guys around there that can stun though. So that's good. Up. It's another kill. If I move you here, I think we have a clear line of sight on these two. One up and slash. Hit the one below. Uh, I think it's more prone for you to hit the one below you. That's a good hit, I would say. See if we can stun. Oh, we can't. And then, yeah, move you around because we the tree is kind of blocking our way. Well, let's go for a stun on him. Oh, we're out of fatigue. So that's gonna be annoying. Good shield. From here. Didn't hit. It didn't hit. Neither did you. You guys are beginning to disappoint me a bit, guys. Come on. All right, at least we killed that one. Uh, I don't want to move up, so I'm going to wait with your turn a bit. So you can move there instead. I'll go around. Uh, you can't move up, unfortunately, because you don't have any points anymore because you're fatigued. Come on, just hit that guy. Okay, he, he killed himself because he was too afraid. Oh, they're trying to run away. That's good. Uh, I would say move on up anyway. Now, oh, right, there is no real place for you to fire from there. Maybe we can hit him. Stab him in the back. Stab him in the side. Stab him any which way we can. He's too tired. They're all too tired. Oh, he didn't act because he was too afraid, I assume. Well, he should be. We're about to murder him. Murder. Murder, most foul. There you go. Alright, lots of level ups from that as well. Some good amount of coin. I like that mission. Noxera's dead body looked more like... Looked more rock than beast as it lays flat and not moving. 
Flies already coupling aside its mouth, sowing life on the frothy remains of death. You order Torvald to take its head, for Dietrich the Younger will be expecting both. Back to the city. You place the next year head onto Dietrich the Younger's desk. For some reason, fluid still issue from its neck, dribbling down the side of the oak, and no doubt staining it. The man leans back, tenting his finger and belly. Naxeas? And what else? Ghosts? The man sniggers to himself. Nothing too difficult for you, it's all sort. He snaps his finger and the servants come servants comes up, handing you a set of 300 crowns. While I gain 240. That's a small mistake there. Because I believe we got 300 in total, 60 ahead and for 240 after the completion. No biggie. We do need some new tools again, and tools are quite inexpensive here, so let's get them while well, they have them. Sell these teeth that I never ever see anybody offering what they're truly worth. And see about the next contract. Halston of Hirschbach folds his hand together when he sees you. This might be a stranger question, but how interested are you in making delivery for me? You explain that for the right price, such a journey would be a welcome departure from the usual killing and dying that goes on around you. The man clasps his hands together. Excellent. Unfortunately, I didn't expect it to be quite like that. It's enough import of enough import to garner unsavory attention, which is why I'm looking for a higher sales force in the first place. It's going to Freidorf, where a man by the name of Hubert the Wise is waiting for it to fall into his hands. So you see, this won't be the departure you speak of, well, can be a fine payday if you're interested. We get 30 crowns and 110 when the job is done. Yeah, okay, let's do it. It's a delivery quest, so we're, we're, we're okay, right? Friedorf is quite miles away. How are we on food? One and a half day left. But we're getting close to the 2,000 crowns. With this job, only another two of these kinds of jobs and we're there. Oh, we can always sell a little bit. Okay, that, that did take away quite a bit again. Yeah, This quest is enough for paying the man for one day. And that's about it. But I do hope that they have a good job for us in Freiburg as well. Maybe something that earns me around 500 crowns. That would be ideal. Do some killing for that. I didn't really want to read that message. We have had this quest before. Contract available. A few peasants are roaming outside the halls of the room. You can hear the shouting and it is of a nervous tone. Jupiter the wise pulls a drink and sips it with a shaking head. I'll be clear with you, Selsort. We have many, many reports that brigands are about to attack the star. If you want to know who those reports came by way of dead women and children. Clearly, we have no reason to doubt the seriousness of this, these reports. So the question is, will you protect us? Sure. And he will be paying us 390. No, 420? I'll accept that. We need to disband the outskirts. Okay. So we can kind of sit a little bit, wait for them to come. So I thought that supply caravan was coming for us. As you walk along the roads, a throng of ragged looking men speeds past you. They clear off the path and jump down into an embankment and hide be behind a wall of bushes. With a shrubbery still swaying, another group of men soon appears. Before the first man even speaks, you already know what's coming. Apparently, some laborers had agreed in union to abandon a project of what the pursuing overseer simply simplifies as issues they asked if you had seen these near do wells so we can give away the guys or not i'm i'm on the side of sure does there might be a coin and reward for it and there is the overseers not draw clubs and pitchforks and even some nets they scramble off the road and converge into the bushes like a bunch of raiders would a wagon it's a wild tough one side fight men are beaten and battered like fish in a bush even far up the hillside, you can hear the unmistakable clunking of wood on skull. You can see one man fatally stabbed with a spear. Perhaps the resolution of a conflict of a somewhat more personal matter. 
When the battle ends, the Ahath Overseer returns to you, a line of prisoners behind him looking worse for, wear, for the wear. He hands you a purse of coins, clapping you on the shoulder and thanking you for keeping order. See, we're helping these guys. We get 50 crowns for it as well. So it's morning, that's good for us. We still have somebody who has a wound. The brigands are inside. Prepare for battle and protect the town. Alright. Are we ready for battle? Do we have level ups? We do have level ups. Let's do that first. So this guy should have more. See, now his uh, archery is actually better than his melee skills. I like that. A bit of initiative, a little bit of fatigue. And a perk for him. I think we go with Colossus for him as well. Let's go with... I normally would go with Student first, but I think because of his low wounds right now in the upcoming battle, I kind of want to go with Colossus first. Just to pump up his skills a little bit. Three with that, three with that, four fatigue. Uh, for you, you can go for the student. I'm okay with that. A uh, little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And another one. Another student. Three, three, four. Pretty good rolls. And another student. Two is not that high, but I'll take it. Here as well. And because his fatigue is... Oh, no, nah, he needs more. Let's put another three on it. He is tiny, but he's also bright. Yeah, it's gonna be great, guys. Uh, everybody is decked out with whatever we have, pretty much, right? The best weapons for everybody. Yeah, I think so. Alright, once more into the breach and protect the town of Freidorf. Many brigand thugs, which is good because thugs don't have really good weaponry and armor and those kinds of things. I do see some bucklers. 40% chance is the best we will get, so let's fire on him. That's a hit. Can't complain when it's a hit. 43% chance. That's a miss. Can't complain when it's a miss. Uh, let's wait for them to come a little bit closer and we can attack them, I would say. Sure, like this. And start slashing at him. Good hit. Wait a bit with you. You move up. We can try to stun him or kill him. Does stunning do less damage? It does. No, let's do a normal hit then. Oh, that was a stun. Well, he was stunned anyway, so I, I wouldn't mind. It's not the worst thing then. If you win, see if we can <coughs> kill him. Indeed we did. I'm not sure if it's always a kill when you, you hit him down, but I kind of think that it is. Let's go a little bit in the thick of the fighting and fire. No, you are stunned. We don't need to fire at you. So, we did two. It's a good hit. I like that. Unfortunately, we can't do much damage with him, but that is okay. like archers a lot more than I find out found out that it actually works like this if you're just behind the man that you can fire without any problem you're okay buddy don't waver you are absolutely a okay That doesn't sound really good for that guy. <clears throat> Stunt man didn't even get his turn. Poor him. Uh, 
let's see. You are fleeing even, so let's hit the guy that isn't fleeing. Oh, he got away! Quickly. Fire at him. Uh, let's move. If I move here, then I can still fire at him, but not close enough. So let's move up a little bit more. You are in range. Both of them hit. That's really good. And with that, the battle is pretty much to an end. It is only a question, can we, oh, no, we don't want to attack. We just want to move. Can we catch this guy? So if we had some war dogs, we would. Oh, but this way as well. There it is. Baldwin leveled up. We got some loot. Oh, some pretty nice loot actually. Uh, some coins, some herbs, some tools, some arrows, some everything. Misshapen men and crooked corpses litter the ground for battle. Gives the dead no sovereignty over how one comes to a final rest. The bodiless has look at most peace. For in battle, no man or all beast has time to truly hack a neck away. It only comes by the quickest and sharpest of blade swings. A part of you hopes to go with such instant finality, but another part of you hopes you get the chance to take your killer down with you. When them comes to your side and asks for all this, you turn away from the field and tell the brothers united to go get ready to return to Hubert the Wise. Well, let's go get ready. Hello, Hubert. There you are. Hubert the Wise welcomes your return with a glass of wine. Drink up, Salsard, you earned it. It tastes particular. Hearty that it could be a flavor. Your employer swings around his desk, taking a gleefully happy seat. You managed to protect the town, and just as you had promised, I'm most impressed. He nods, tipping his goblet towards a wooden chest. Most impressed. You open the chest to find a bevy of golden crowns. 420. Payments for a hard day's work. And we passed the 2000 crown uh, thingy, so we should complete our quest soon, I feel like. In the meantime, we have enough crowns that I feel okay with buying some food. These will spoil in 10 days and 8 days. Uh, we can buy the bread. We don't keep it around that long anyway. And I think we're good on everything else. I think so. So while we wait for our quest to be completed, we can move to another town. I think around Saxdorf. But it's going to be the end of this episode. Follow us next time in the Brothers United, seeing if we finally get our banner and what that actually will do for us. Because I hope it's more than just, hey, here, spend 2,000 crowns and now you have a banner. Because we have a banner here. I want to have a physical banner that I can give to my man that shows up during battle. But that's all for next time. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.